It's not something you would typically hear coming out of WABG Lucy Bigger's mouth, but catch a snake, she will. Have you ever caught a snake before? No, but I can't imagine that it's that hard. Are you scared? I'm no, I'm not really scared. I'm more scared about getting really muddy and wet than catching the snakes. Good. It's all part of the CMT TV series, Mississippi Snake Grabbers, being filmed right here in the Mississippi Delta. They call it a snake rodeo, really. And they, they go out here and they sort of stalk around the lake and try to um, grab as many snakes as possible. A TV series about conquering and facing your fears head on. We're all scared of snakes. Nobody is uh, thrilled to do this at first. But after you get that first charge of grabbing a snake, you really feel like, I think I could step out of a plane. Consisting of four to five film crews, the show has been out on Lake Washington for a few weeks. Thursday's contestants consisted of three teams, the Greenville Fire Department, Delta Yoga, and WABG's Lucy Biggers, Mike Sands, Johnny Ross, and Kim Taylor. Strategies for these teams? Scream and cheer and hold it over my head. <laughs> First option would be use Johnny Ross as bait. Second one would be somehow to use stealth, which has never been my strong suit, but we'll see what happens. We'll grab the snake and put it in the bucket. We can sit there and grab a snake and everything else. If we run into fires, it shouldn't be no problem. I think we might have an upper hand on it. I mean, can't never judge, uh, judge nobody, though. They might come up, but I don't see it happening. The, the fireman's talking. Hands down. Yeah, the fireman's Hands been down. talking smack all day, so we're, we're gunning for the fireman. Okay, so a little bit of a competition between WABG and the fire department. But first, each team must roll up their sleeves, get in the water, and catch a snake. Don't worry. Each team had two guys that are trained in first aid and identifying good snakes from the bad. We're going to identify every snake before somebody grabs it. Uh, we're not going to let them get close to it until we say, okay, yes, that's, that's a good snake. In Greenville, Jonathan Went, ABC6 News.